Hi everybody, happy Thursday. I am back with a brand new Ryan T. Higgins book and this book features Penelope Rex. Last year at the very end of the book with the goldfish, it looked like she was getting a pet. And guess what? She did. Penelope Rex and the problem with pets. Are you ready to find out what this book is all about? Let's get started. Lots of parents give their kids dogs or cats or guinea pigs or goldfish. Penelope Rex's parents gave her mittens. And what do you think mittens is? Do you have any guesses? Penelope was surprised. She didn't even know she wanted a pet. Penelope had talked a lot about ponies, but that's because they are delicious. She wasn't so sure about owning a mittens, but she was willing to give it a try. Oh, look, he already likes you. Why don't you take mittens up to your room and get ready for bed? Any guesses on what mittens is? In Penelope's room, mittens made himself comfortable. Mittens, you can sleep down here on the floor. Where did Mittens sleep? Took up all the bed. That's kind of like our dogs. Charlie's taking up most of the sofa right now and he's only a beagle. It was a crowded night in the room up the stairs and down the hall. The next morning, Mittens woke Penelope with a surprise from the garden. Hmm. See it? Poor groundhog. Then he wouldn't eat his breakfast. But he would eat everything else like the trash and Penelope's toys and Penelope's supper. You never really like baked beans anyway. And no one was quite sure what had happened to the nice lady from down the street. Has anyone seen Mrs. Phillips today? I was supposed to take her to the airport. Uh-oh. Do your pets do that? Murphy loves trash. After all that, Mittens got an upset tummy. Luckily, he knew how to use the litter box, but he preferred the bathtub. The truth was, Mittens made everything harder. Sleeping, getting dressed, Mom, Mittens buried all my underwear in the yard again. Getting ready for school. Mittens, let go. I have to go to school. You have to stay here. Being at school. Attention students, recess will be inside today due to a saber-toothed cat on the playground. All right, how many of you guessed that Mittens was a saber-toothed tiger? If you did, you guessed right. Do you see all that? Mittens is really making life tough. Ben, do you think our dogs are that tough? Yeah. <laughs> and even coming home from school, I'm home! <laughs> In fact, coming home from anywhere was harder. Look at how excited Mittens is to see Penelope. You wouldn't guess it, but the do my dogs get really excited when I come home too. After days of mess and mayhem, Penelope was at the end of a rope. Mittens, no, mittens, no, mittens, no mittens. Rip. See all that chaos? Bad mittens, bad. I'm sorry, Penny Pie. Maybe mittens is too much for one little T-Rex to handle on her own. And so carrying a patched up backpack and a lot of feelings, Penelope left for school. But that whole day, everything made her think of Mittens. Was he too much for her? When Penelope got home that afternoon, she braced herself. I'm home! Mittens? But Mittens wasn't there. Hmm. He was in the backyard. I thought Mittens could use some fresh air. Oh, okay. Does Mittens look sad? What do you think? 
That evening, Mittens was not at supper. They put a baby gate up. That night, Mittens was not in Penelope's bed. Penelope couldn't sleep. Her bed was so big. Do you think she misses Mittens? So Penelope crept downstairs. Hi, Mittens. I'm sorry I yelled. Would you like to? Oof. Look, she liberated her from the cage. Oof. It was a cozy night in the Rex family house, especially in the room up the stairs and down the hall. Where it was crowded but just right. Mittens was a lot of work, but he was worth it. And so with plenty of exercise, loads of training, Mittens sit, good boy, and lots of family outings. Hi there, Mrs. Phillips. The Rex family learned how to be great pet owners. And in return, Mittens learned how to be not quite as much trouble. Well, that's good news. Mrs. Phillips is okay. He would never be an easy pet, but Penelope did not love an easy pet. She loved Mittens. I'm glad you're you, Mittens, and not a pony. Mm. Ponies. <laughs> mm. Sound good. The end. So, what did you think about this story? Did you like it? And how many of you out there have a difficult pet? Do you have a Mittens at home? Charlie can be a Mittens sometimes. He seems pretty quiet now, but we've all heard him be a little bit louder. I will be back next week with more brand new stories to share. So until then, I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will see you soon. Definitely come in and check out this book. Bye for now.